Welcome to week four of season five of the Southern Nation League. I'm your play-by-play -play analyst, Josh Gonzalez, and right next to me is BDM. Hello. And it's the Mako, sponsored by Omata Law versus the Panthers, sponsored by Chris Galco. And man, been very, very excited for this game. I think this could potentially be the matchup of the day. Yeah, I totally agree. A lot of exciting basketball coming today, but this one might be... Both and teams are just very high paced, high energy, very aggressive, very just winning mindset. Good scorers on each side, good defenders on each side, so it's just going to be really fun. Good coaching, by the way. He's a 1v1 god, so what do you do if it's 1v0 on that? He had a fast break just to start that game. Dallas starting off with a sweet finish of the day, brought to you by Ashes Bake Shop. Comes 1v1 god, pass it to Yusuf. Yusuf, real good pass in Q to Luke. Couldn't hit on the great pass right there. And here comes Hawkins. Heck of a take. Dude, another sweet finish by two by Ashes Bakeshop. Dude, I, I really like this kid's game, honestly. I said it since I saw him in the scrimmage games. Just the way he plays. There's no stopping. Like he's going 101 miles an hour into the lane all the time. He's giving you 100% effort all the time. Looks like that one was out on Steve the Kid. You know, a little inside basketball here. We saw Steve the Kid out one night randomly in uh, Disney Springs. He claimed that he was going to have a game this year of 30 points and 15 rebounds. Mm. Could this be the game? There's another rebound. Would definitely be the game to do it in. Here comes Hawkins again. Great defense down low. You saw a hand yeah. straight up make him make the move. Yeah. Yusuf adjusted to that one this time. Absolutely. 1v1 guy. Pass it to Luke. Finds Q. Q going up. There you go. Couldn't get the rebound on that. Hawkins. See, he showed. Look at that pass. No, that was a good pass. Oh, here comes Ish. Ish finds Steve. Can't hit. He's going to need 15 of those to go in to get 30 points. Oh, Math. good pass. Man, that's the assist of the day. It has to be. Brought to you by Levi Alves. That man was fumbling. Barely saw him in his peripherals and got it there. No Dom on the Panthers. Oh, yeah. You know, one oh, yeah, key no missing Dom. player here. It looks like Dom. We're missing a Dom on the Panthers and an X on the Makos, huh? Two key players. Makos, early timeout. They're not liking the heart and hustle to come out on this game right here. There are a lot of shrug shoulders, a lot of finger pointing, some questioning. It's too early for that. You're only two minutes into the game. But it's never too early to buy houses. And, you know, we buy houses and mobile homes in any type of condition. So no equity, there's no problem. We work fast, use cash, and there's no nonsense. Up to $1,000 if you refer a home that goes to closing. To speak to Josiah Kenyon, give him a call at 407-735-6228. That was seamless. That's excellent. I'm learning from the best. Yusuf had 15 last game. Let's see if he can keep up the scoring momentum into this week. Oh, Yusuf always has his uh, oh, yeah. scoring headlights on there. Oh, yeah, dude. He's phenomenal. But you know what? He's also an excellent passer, too. Yep, I was just about to say that. He has really good eyes. He does look to get his teammates involved. Look at that. A little fancy there. He's a really good facilitator, for sure. And he's, uh, he's, look at that. I think he's one, I think he's probably one of the best playmakers on this team so far from what I've seen. Foul on zero. Foul on Fritz. Now Q will go for two on the line. Now last game that we watched, free throws were definitely an issue for the game. Could this one be a little different? Oh, it has to be, hopefully. <laughs> You know, you don't want your team, and there goes one miss. Oh, I mean, it has you, to be. might be a little strong, huh? Yeah, well, I mean, you saw what it did. I mean, they almost came all the way back. And even with the miss free throws, it put them down by a couple points, so. Ball is live, as the ref says. Ball is life, as everybody else says. Over 2 from the free throw line. And that could come back to bite them later on. That definitely bit. Ooh, keeps it in. Eric takes the shot. And misses. Q is a good pass down court to 1v1 guy. Looking to set up a play. Man, dude, they're passing. And that's a three. 
That's excellent basketball right there. Get it inside, swing right back out quick, make the defense adjust to you. Easy three-pointer. They've been working on that. You could tell that pass is looking crisp. Ish. Goes too high. Goes a little too hard on that as well. It has thought to be we were brick of the day, man. I think hit the ropes on top of the yes, wood. Was at the straps? He thought we were playing on 12-foot rivers. That's all. Yeah, which is different. Day. Brought to you by Zane, the realtor. Luke for three, and it's an air ball instead. I'm gonna say Luke got messed up on that one because the net's still messed up. That's actually, you know, you can't see sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, that does look kind of weird. Yeah, and he's a Mako, he's a shark. He can only see a certain, you know, peripheral. I definitely threw something off there. Ish on line for two. Ish hits the first. Always been a good free throw shooter, Ish. ITV, number one. Ish the body. Ish the body. Two for two. Yusuf, yeah. bring the ball down. Brisky with the ball. A little brisky. Let's see if he gets shifty here. Nice pass to wide open. It's a great Norby pass. One guard, but instead, that was. It looked like good defense, but instead, it was a whack on the arm. And it's a shooting foul. So now, Mumby one guy would be shooting too. He, he's Uno this year? Wasn't he double Uno last year? I thought he was Steve the Kid. Well, I'm confused. <laughs> That's DK. I, I don't know what to call him at this point. Yeah, he has like 80 nicknames is what I heard, so I have no idea what to call him. So at this point, I'm going to call him Steve. Nah, Steve Steve's be. his government name, so that works. Yeah. <laughs> STK. But, well, last season he was double Uno. Now, this season he's Uno. Um, on the Reapers, you have Sway, who wears the triple Uno. Mm. And then you have uh, 1v1 God as 11. <laughs> one, one v one God. A lot of, a lot of ones. <laughs> Come on, foul! Good shot, but couldn't quite get there. No. Oh. And in walks Dom Johnson. Should be playing right now. Should be. He said he's got water. <laughs> Stay hydrated. Ish going in. Trying to be a little too aggressive. Yeah, that was one that Ish probably could have pulled up a little bit earlier, but he was trying to force contact. He was. The, uh, there's another one. It looks like both teams are trying to get contact in the paint. Right back to Ish. Ish decides to pass it up, and that's a really good assist. Might be the assist of the day. Brought to you by We Buy Houses. That's a fast break right there. That is a great fast break. Yusuf. He makes a good really nice cross court pass. Ooh, three point shot assist by Yusuf. That's a play you see on 2K, honestly. Oh, uh oh, look at that. Corbin with the grab. And one by Steve the Kid. Now, here's what I will say. That was the full use of experience on those two players right there. <laughs> An excellent. <laughs> but probably not recommended cross-court pass that ends at a three-pointer. He's running down court, talking to us, saying he could have shot it, but he made the pass. And then the ball gets past him on defense, and he ends up fouling into an N1 to eliminate the three that they just caused there. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a full body experience. Yeah, it's a roller coaster, but you take the good with the bad. <laughs> right. Because that's going to be cool. Yusuf with a nice move and a little bit of a spin on the rim. Almost a guarantee. That was a sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. Fritz. Fritz hits a three-point shot. Oh, this is going to be a fun game. Cash is that check. This is going to be a fun game. Here comes Yusuf down the lane again, looking for the contact, and this time he gets it. <laughs> Six point game. Yusuf has a chance to extend it here. Some excellent lead officiating going on right now, too. What was that? Some excellent lead officiating going on by Franchise. Oh, yeah. Franchise the owner. He's a good ref. <laughs> It's all about communication. The league, a relationship, life. <laughs> Come Andre Bird. Uh, coming in for Steve the Kid. Ish is coming out. Hey, 
Look at the headband from Andre Bird. There you go. That's right. That is a thick headband from Andre. That is, that is a. <laughs> but it goes with the color scheme, so it is league approved. Lorston looking for the pass, but instead it's stolen by the Makos. And oh man, that was a hard dive by Yusuf, who crashes into the wall. And he gets up like nothing. He did it. You did it. Just shut up. Let me do it. Ladies and gentlemen, the noise you might hear in the background is our scorekeeper and our local coach Tone debating scores. Turns out nobody knows how to count, but in this case, the score is correct that you see on the board. Nice pass to Bird. Bird pulls it from three. Lights it up from the three-point line. Oh, the thicker the headband, the wetter the shot. That's it right there. Andre Berg. Oh, yeah. But Yusuf comes right back with a nice finish. I love how he does that. He slows down. It's, yep. it's a little bit different from when you see uh, anybody else take it up. They take it up with a lot of momentum. He knows how to slow down. Body with the rebound, using that body. Obiangad finds Yusuf. Yusuf looking to score again. Gets another foul. Yusuf is just in control of this offense right now. 100%. What would happen in seasons and games past, you would see he gets a little uh, trigger happy from very deep. In this case, no, he's taking exactly what the defense has given him. I like the, the fact that he's pushing, he's pushing the pace. Yeah. And I've seen him do that before. What is he doing? Spinning on the ground? Was Oh. Is, he, is that like his thing? No, you could tell me he would have done anything, and I would believe you. On it. <laughs> Takes out a Rubik's Cube, and he just starts he doing that. Both yeah. free throws. But yeah, no, he's been super aggressive early here. Here comes Fritz. And sometimes that's what you need. Look at that pass. Oh, really, really good pass to put in the bread basket. Not enough for the finish. They pass the shot. Dog. Couldn't hit it. Oh, they find Hawkins. Corbin going up with it. Oh, couldn't hit that. Yusuf. Yusuf once again going up. Oh, tries to bail out for the pass, and they keep it in, actually. The reason that one didn't slow down. Yeah, the reason that one didn't work is because both players were too close under the rim. If you're going to make that pass, somebody's got to be wider. If not, then one defender could guard two people. They got to spread the floor. They said it's a steal and a good finish from 1v1 guard. Sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ash. Big shot. Never mind. I'm trying my best not to cause him. Fritz is just a cold-blooded killer from the perimeter. Oh, good pass. Yusuf pulls from deep and hits the three-point shot. It's scary. He just pulls from anywhere at this point. This is either the greatest thing in the world that can happen to the Makos or disaster waiting to happen. And it's nowhere in the middle, and I think that's why the Makos are my favorite team. <laughs> You got a point, though. Because oh, it could be good or bad. But it's benefiting them right now. Only down by two. I love a good wild card basketball player. <laughs> Fritz can't hit on that one. And the thing is, the thing is, he cares. He cares. You like a you like a player that wants to see a good outcome. Right. Team captain Eric is coming in. For the Panthers. Also runs an excellent Selling Nation podcast. Oh, yeah. Huh. It's so fun and easy going over. I do hop on the podcast with them. The topics get interesting as well. Ooh, Yusuf tries to hit that thing. That's what you're talking about right there. It could either be good or bad. It's definitely a double edged sword. He hit one before. Right. But look, he's still in it. Look at that. Excellent, excellent defensive play. Sometimes you run the risk of a, a player who gets hot and cold. You know, if you don't hit a shot, maybe the head goes down a little bit, shoulders slouch, but well, great defensive play. Got the ball back for his team. 100%. Good ball, like you. 
He was about to go up with it, but instead of passing it to Yusuf, Yusuf going in. And what a scoop under the, under the rim. That's a sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. I'm going to tell you right now, the leader in the clubhouse for the campus legend so far through a game and a half is Yusuf. Yeah. Yeah. Brought to you by Campus Customs. Yeah. You know, we won't decide that until the end of the end of the week, but right now. You can make an argument for it for sure. And in for the Makos walks X. He going to give it to you. Oh. There you go. Good defense, good pressure by the Makos. Don't let nothing come, you know, free. Even on inbounds. The thing about adding X into this game right now, it's another ball handler, another smart basketball player. Mm -hmm. Overall, really nice guy, too. I don't know if it has anything to do with the basketball game, but he's nice. Look at that. He knows how to create space. He could have sped up if he wanted to, but he said, you know what? Let me back off. Let me let, me let 1v1 God do what he does best. Yep, you got to stay back a little mm -hmm. bit. He looks like he just woke up, but he's woke. Oh, he's definitely woke. And you know what? One Hop to Shop is the official home of Oscillation League merchandise. This week, they had the first drop of their official Season 5 CNL merch with hoodies, t-shirts, and long sleeves. Contact at Selenation League on Instagram to place your order now. Now, if you notice here, what's happening is Fritz is going to shoot two free throws for the Panthers. You might be asking why. Well, that's because the Makos had two players show up late to the basketball game after tip time. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. I see. By default, it's a technical free throw for each late player. Relates the rules. Yeah. 0 for 1 from the free throw line. One, 1 for 2. So, it's like only one person showed up late. <laughs> I thought Dom might be suiting up for this game, but it looks like he's just a coach right now. Looks like, is there any... What was it? Ah, ah. Oh, okay, he ah. pulled his hamstring. Health we update. Told. Dom out this week. Hamstring strain. Grade unknown. You know, it's either a one-week type of rest and let it heal thing, but if it's grade two, grade three, we could be talking potential of surgery. Don't want to speculate, but we wish the best for Dom. We do wish for the best hope for a speedy recovery. Disclaimer, we are not doctors. <laughs> There's a shot doc in the game, though. Here comes E! Oh, trying to go up with it, but instead, it looks like it was a block. By the main goes, you should be able to get a hand on it. And it's out on the Makos. Panthers retain possession. Stole the words right out of my mouth, Parker. Chris, operate. Oh. That was a good take. 2v1 goes up with it, pulls the foul. Now he's going in or onto the free throw line for two. Uh, actually, that was a mistake. It was just a regular foul. Yep. So now they're just going to bring it in. There's so many of those. It looks like they're going to shoot and then they... It's a different foul. Fulfilling me. I feel like our friends group has known Ish since he was a pre-teen at this point. The three-pointer has never been his game. He needs to get into the paint. He's quick. He's strong. Hard to stay in front of him. You're giving the defense a freebie every single time that you do not go into the paint if you're Ish. 100%. Good pass from Ish. But Fritz couldn't hit. Seasons passed, that would have been almost a pesky play by Ish, but it's not Throwback Thursday. <laughs> oh, look at this. Gene with the reflection. He looks like prime Austin Rivers. The facial hair. He does kind of. He does. He looks exactly like Austin Rivers. Another pass to shot, Doc, who looks to facilitate the ball. Here comes Yusef. Yusef, oh, almost makes it in. Makos haul it in. X couldn't hit. Eric comes comes down with the rebound. To Austin Rivers slash Gene. <laughs> Three. Gene for the three-point shot. Gene Ballister. First names work. 
I'm calling him by a totally different name right now, anyway. <laughs> Mike, I said he looks like Austin Rivers. <laughs> he's got game like him, too. That's a compliment. Oh, shot dog saying that he's too small. Gets the and one and now has a chance to make a three point play. Who's hmm. <laughs> calling the competition small? You know, I mean, he is. It looks like he's the biggest man on the court. Well, I mean, no, you, I mean, Steve's pretty big too. The uh, the too small celebration is a little bit overdone, but if you're gonna complete a play like this, you get to do that. One hundred percent. Get the rebound! All right, well, they're screaming for the rebound. But instead, it's a turnover. Yusuf coming in hot. Goes in for the scoop and lay. That was a good push forward by 1v1 God and Yusuf with a fancy finish. Oh, Eric hits a three point shot. Eric doesn't care about style points. He cares about real, actual basketball points. He answered a nice play with, hey, here's three for you. And three's more than two. <laughs> You're right on that But honestly, that was a phenomenal three by Eric. Yeah. He did that one. That, that is the role of the coach. That is the, you know, serve as a calming influence. Dude, Dom, Dom is the most vocal coach I've heard so far. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you got... Oh, good pass to Yusuf, who takes a three-point oh, shot. He tried to Thought turn he around. Oh my God! Runs into the referee. Mike, are you okay? See, if Yusuf wasn't turning around on that, he would have seen the ref in front of him. Exactly. That's why you risk getting a little too fancy. Here comes X with the ball. Oh, good what a pass! One v one, God. Oh. Man, I really wanted that to be the assist of the day. That was a really good pass. I just want nothing but success for X. You know, that's. Uh, Heck of an almost assist there. That that honestly that that was a really good pass, so, but yep. unfortunately it couldn't finish. I'm gonna say that's the almost assist of the day by we almost buy houses. <laughs> Ooh. That's when you get under contract and like it just falls through <laughs> midway. Like, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We almost buy houses. <laughs> unfortunately it fails inspection or something. Uh, hey, it happens. Yeah. One v one guy, one for one, two for two. Yeah. Actually, I don't know how many he shot. Here was two. In total, I have no idea. Eric with another three-point shot, hits it two in a row. Eric doesn't want to get him on. He doesn't talk during the game. He talks on the podcast. Tune in Wednesday nights. <laughs> Eight thirty. Oh, good, hustle. good hustle by Shaw Dog. Instead, the Panthers come up with it. Here comes Dallas. One thing that the Panthers are missing right now is Steve the Kid, for all of his, let's say, eccentricities. Oh, my Lord. What a shot. That was a great shot. I was going to say, he's beating Shot Doc down the floor every single time. On that one, Shot Doc was actually trying to get into his chest to impede him back here. Mm -hmm. Could get a little chippy in the second half here. I feel like it is. Brisky puts two on the board there while we're talking about that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He's hot. Fritz is feeling himself right now. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. Yusuf answers back! Oh my goodness! Oh, this is gonna be a great one. I told you I was excited for this. Ish goes up for it. And there's the sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Bait Shop. And that's Ish's game. Oh, that is. That's, he's strong. Get in there. I'm fast, I'm strong, I finish. <laughs> Ooh, great defensive play, but. Steve with the rebound. But look, he's slowing down here. I think he needs to start heading back. Oh, I think something's wrong. I don't know if Steve is tired or something's wrong, but he was slowing down. Hey, they've got three seconds left. That's why, okay. Oh, almost, almost. a buzzer beater, but hey. We're going to wrap up this first half here, but here's a quick word from our sponsors. Hallelujah! I got no time for these other rappers. Using too many napkins and not enough practice. And I can't keep running, can't keep running. Round and round in circles. You keep begging, 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 cause you know that I can't say no. Oh, 
wanna make love in the morning. More, but that shit had to stop. I don't wanna run away anymore. I've been gone for so long. This is attorney Rochelle Lamont with the Mott Law. I'm a Florida personal injury attorney specializing in auto accidents and slip and falls. I have years of experience recovering millions for my clients at one of the nation's top law firms. If you or a loved one find yourself in this unfortunate situation, make sure to call us today. It would be our honor to represent you. We're super excited to be part of Selly Nation this season. Let's go Makos. We're back with game two of week four of the season five of Southern Nation League. The Mako sponsored by Amat Law and the Panthers sponsored by Chris Scalco. Pretty solid first half on this one. You know, the key there is we had a little bit of a Brisky versus Fritz matchup to end that half. Lots of answers. And here comes Yusuf. He falls. Gives it to Fanelli. Oh. Uh, that was almost a good pass that actually could have finished it, but Fritz going up with it. Oh, good rebound. But it seems like the smaller man of that bunch. Steve the Kid. Oh, look at that. Another rebound. Oh, that's not Steve on the rebound. My bad. Yep. Oh, that's Steve, go. though. You knew that was coming at some point. That's Steve, though. The sister of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses. Play by Q. See, you talking shit to Q. You got to go now. Uh-oh. Here, Dom coaching from the bench there. Oh, yeah. Always been vocal. Always. Oh, yeah. He's getting real loud here. Dallas takes the shot. Issue with that, it's a little off rhythm of a shot there. He had a jab step, whatever. It's tough to hit that shot. Yeah, he, he didn't have his footing set. Scoot up, Steve. Scoot up, Steve. Looks like X stole it from he did. a possible steal. <laughs> it was very close to a bad pass, but, <laughs> right. but X stole it back. As long as the play ends up working, the play ends up working, right? Steven! Steven and Brooks! Nice pass down low. Two points for the Makos. Back to a three-point game. Just over 18 minutes left. You know, Dom, having Dom out of this game is kind of sad to see because he had 11 rebounds in 21. I mean, he had a double-double. Oh, Dom. Yeah, he had a double-double last week, and then you see him out. Could have made a big impact here, I feel. It's, it's tough. He's one of the premier players in this league. Right. Yeah. He won uh, MVP, I believe, season two with the gold team. Um... Ever since then, he's been a scoring machine. He's scoring a scoring machine. Now is almost another three by Fritz. Here comes Yusuf. Dude, he goes flying down the court. His speed is crazy. And one. That's a sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ashley's Bay Shop. Man, Yusuf. Rumor is out there that if Yusuf continues this hot streak here, then if he keeps getting the sweet finishes of the day, then the next unique flavor from Ash's Bake Shop is going to be named, named after Yusuf. <laughs> The Yusuf donut. <laughs> Don't put that out. <laughs> Once it's on tape, you gotta do it. <laughs> there he goes, G. Oh, Good the brisky shot. blondie. The brisky blondie. Oh. Here comes extra ball. Passes it. Finelli can't hit the shot. But a great rebound by X. Again, something else he brings to the table. Yep. Good hustle play. Mm. Panthers rebounding is good. Good pass to Dallas. Oh, that's a nice play. That was also just a lack of communication by the Makos there. That was definitely a sister of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses. The other Shot half. The other half of the assist, though. Hustle. hustle. What are you doing? Hustle. He's the fastest guy on the court. It's not backcourt. The referee would have been wrong on that one. However. All right. All right. They're calling it again? The, well, 
there's some confusion. A back tap, you could go into the backcourt to get the ball. There is no backcourt on that one, I don't believe at least. Strike me down if I'm wrong. Wait a couple seconds. Wasn't struck down, so I should be right there. So for the people viewing a back tap, it's just a steal, right? Someone attempted a steal and it falls back into oh, the on the rebound. Oh, on the rebound. Uh, okay. You know, if your team misses a shot and you tip the ball into the back court, you should be able to go back and get it because it was just a back tap. I could be wrong. Yusuf. Another oh. deep three. Yusuf can't even believe himself. Oh my goodness, slams the ground. Don't break your hands. And Ish gets back and gets an animal. Almost the same exact thing that you said earlier. Yep. It's almost the same experience. You get a nice three. And that comes on focus and then leads up to a three point, what could be a three point play. Yep, now that one wasn't on Yusuf there. Right, that, right. That, they just beat the whole team back there. It's a lack of getting back for the entire team. But. I feel you like know. it bleeds into it, though. You see one player do it, it could bleed into the other ones as well. That's a good response by the Panthers, too. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you just give credit to a good play. Really good play. You bet dollars to donuts that this next one's a three-point attempt. Uh, ooh. Well, maybe there's no shot attempt coming up. I was going to say I would bet that the ball's going up. That was a last-minute pass that is oh. still their ball. The Brisky Blondie. Oh, gets stolen by Eric. And now Dallas saves the ball. Dallas goes up with a Euro step. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, man, this kid is really, really good. Man. Named after the city of Dallas. Named after the city of Dallas. Not 100% sure that's true. Don't know his family. <laughs> but we'll go with it. And with that, you can go with the grooming gallery. This is Orlando's premier barber shop where artistry meets grooming. Horace is a meticulous barber whose focus is on providing top-notch cuts and grooming services tailored to your style. Their brand new location in Hunters Creek is the perfect spot for your next haircut. So shoot them a DM at the grooming gallery to book an appointment. Close game so far. It is. We got about 14 minutes left in the game here. It's an eight-point game. It's been exciting. Uh, Plenty of room, and it's nobody, nobody's guess whose game this is. Correct. All right, it seems like the Panthers have a goal in mind. It is to finish the game on top. That's what they need to do here and try to keep it away from either Yusuf and the Makos or Yusuf himself from turning it around. Well, this one's important, too. It's two two-and-one teams. Right. The winner obviously has a tiebreaker for now. It's a, it's a big game for both of these, so both want to finish strong. But like I said, is it going to be Yusuf and the team, or just Yusuf trying to bring them back and, oh, and win I, the game? You know, I feel like he, more people need to get involved. He's been scoring a lot. That's true. He has been carrying the bulk of the offense. Sometimes but, that's what you want, like you said. Yeah, but they do have 1v1 God on the court, so you might want to get him the ball in 1v1 situations. Exactly. Good defense. That's that, what that is, is a frustration foul from Ish. He thinks he got fouled on one end, and then immediately reaches in and commits a foul 75 feet from the basket. You don't want to do that. Yeah, you have to learn how to control that. Just move on to the next play. Exactly. Nice shot, Doc passes it out for the Makos. 1v1 God with the ball. Finds X at the top. Shoots the three, but it bounces in and out. Oh, man. Look at that effort. In football, that's called a hospital ball. <laughs> Just throwing that ball right across the middle. Defenders come in. You got to jump and meet them in the middle. But Eric, playing slot receiver. Catches the ball, takes the hit. First down. Move on. <laughs> And here comes Nick. Yeah. Excellent job by Nick. <laughs> and he lost his shoe. What's going on? He had one, yeah, one sandal on when she won. Here comes Fritz. Fritz going into closer mode. Yep. That's a nice finish. That's what you need. Back to 1v1, God. Good pass. 
Try the for Sin Pin, the ball a little bit better. He went up for it. He felt the body. He said, you know what, let me go over there and make contact. Yeah, absolutely. That's what you got to do. You feel him on your back, just go through. Mm -hmm. Get to the free throw line. Try to get some points with, you know, no defender in front of you. I was going to say the clock not running, but yeah, the it's clock like runs. It's doing some weird stuff right now. <laughs> there there you go. Good. Gene, you good? You know what would be a huge turnaround for the Makos if they're going to win this game is they need to get shot dock some open shots. Right. Kyle's such an excellent three-point shooter. Just feels like he hasn't really gotten going outside of the one too small layup. Right, yeah. They need to find him at the three-point line. That would definitely make a difference. And with so many creators on the court for the Makos, they should be able to find him. Oh, yeah. You're right. You got 1v1 God. You got X. You got Q. Gene is calling the play right now. Trying to get a playmate. Ooh. Good take, though. Can't fault him for it. 1v1 God hits a little step back. Couldn't land it. But instead, it's a putback. That's why it matters that all of your teammates hustle back with you on that one. That's an easy second chance point. Brings it down to a seven point game. Whole team's got their back turned. Ish makes another easy layup there. Just like you said, that's his game. Get in there. Yep. And if you're on defense, you might want to look at the guy with the ball. Right. Oh, fine shot, dog. Hits a three-point shot. There he is. <laughs> Get him open shots. There he is. It's about time. Yep. They finally found him. <laughs> they all technically have left hands for the record. This is, this is, <laughs> they, they physically carry two hands with them. Fritz. And that goes out. They just prefer not to use them. That's their off hands. I don't know if you can hear Yusuf in the background. We we absolutely have all two hands of players in this league. <laughs> we buy houses. We buy houses and mobile homes, any type, any condition. No equity, no problem. We work fast, use cash, and no nonsense. Up to $1,000 if you refer a home that goes to closing. To speak to Josiah Kenyon, give him a call at 407-735-6228. Man, yeah, this is uh, starting to be a good game. Only six point difference. And the Makos have the ball right now. Yeah, can easily be a one possession game with just one good possession here. If you were to choose who would win down the stretch, who are you going with? Who are you putting your faith in? I think the Makos win this game. Yeah? Yeah. I, I believe it too. I've seen Yusuf bring it back all the way. And it could do things to your, you know, to your mental. <laughs> I do think he'll make a lot of really big shots down the stretch. I do think that Shot Dog's going to hit at least one or two more threes to bring it to a closer game. And they will just execute. And that's the thing. When you see your lead start to diminish, it gets, it gets to your head. Could. It could. Absolutely. You do have 1v1 God on the court, too. So if it's not up to the shot makers, then he will absolutely take it himself to try to ice the game. Right. And if you're the Panthers, just play your game. Don't take inadvertent threes. Don't force shots. That's got to be on the ground. Yeah, so before you went up. Fadi the body fouls Ish the body. And uh, really, he's just mad at somebody copying his nickname. Yeah. Body on body crime. Finds Fritz. And if you're the Makos, it's almost like you have to keep a second defender or a spy on Fritz. Right. And there it is right there. You know which direction the ball's going if you're on the Panthers. You might as well shade somebody else towards Fritz because that's who's going to run the offense. And they try to do so right there, but instead they drew a foul. But that's what you need to do. Yep. You can't let them get these easy, easy points. Oh. Misses the first free throw. That's why I say the name with the number. Here's a second chance. Just continue. 
Good on one. Pure. One v one, God. Bring the ball up. Finds Yusuf. Yusuf. Finds shot dog. Oh, too much passing going around. Down in the paint. A lot of passing down low. It's very hard to complete multiple passes in a uh, closed space. You should feel a little bit off balance right there. I think I would actually, if I'm the Makos, I know the captain doesn't play as much as some of the other guys on the team, but I would start thinking about getting Luke in the game. Dude, he is so good at just, you know, slithering his way through the defense, controlling his body and just laying it up. Like, it is crazy how much control he has over these plays. He's making some excellent plays this game. You can see he also passed up a three-pointer to get in the paint. But, this is a three-point try. But, look at the hustle. Yeah, look at that. Right back on it. Good pass. That's the assist of the day, brought to you by We Buy Houses. You know what that is? It's a four-point possession, too. Oh, right, yeah. All of a sudden, you got a three-point game. Off of, off of great relay passing, that's what they need. Once again, who's the ball going through? Fritz. Somebody, please shade towards Fritz if you are on the Makos and you want to win this game. Here comes Dallas, the corner. A good player in his own right. If that's his, if that shot's gonna beat you, congratulations. Right. If not, then Ooh, good pass to Yusuf. Yusuf pulls a deep three. There was no hit. no doubt about it that that ball was going up. Oh yeah, it was going. <laughs> There's no doubt. Just a little bit of space and he's pulling it. Finds Bird. Bird shoots a three. Wow. That's going to be the brick of the day. Brought to you by Zane the Realtor. Here comes 1v1, John. He had too much time on that one. Is that a times two brick of the day brought to you by Zane? Uh, I think it was just unfortunately it happens. That's unfortunate. I'll tell you what, I'd give him the shot again. I, I, can't, I can't disagree with you, though. If he's open like that, give him the shot. Oh, it turns on that play, he's a 1v2 guy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yo, you guys definitely have some chemistry. You guys definitely work this up. I've known the PA Parker for a while now. <laughs> Same jokes are coming out no matter what. One hop to shop is the official home of the Seven Nation League merchandise. This week, they had their first drop of their official Season 5 CNL merch with hoodies, t-shirts, and long sleeves. Contact at Seven Nation League on Instagram to place your order. We have just under six minutes left in this game. And it is a one-point game. And right now, I think the Makos have the momentum. I think so too. A lot of good ball movement. They're just facilitating. It's that relay passing that's really getting them the points. Okay, I wasn't writing it down. Also, just hustle game. And hustle game. Paired with it. Huh. And the occasional deep three from Yusuf. I'd like to see that one win the game. Yeah? Because you know there's going to be like cartwheels and just. It Maybe fireworks. If he, sh if he takes that shot. If, if he provides his own fireworks, that'd be great. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> also dangerous. Don't bring fireworks into a closed area. Never. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what I didn't like about that uh, that Panthers breakdown right there? The, uh, what about it? They said one, two, three, finish. Great. A lot of teams do that. But it was like very lackluster, unenthused. And, yeah, it was like thin, yeah. and the bench wasn't in it. It was kind of kind of half-hearted there. That's when you go back and say, wait, one more time. <laughs> but you never know. A couple good offensive possessions changes everything. I mean, it's been a physical game. But you can't be tired here. Right back to X. Look out. Steve with the steal goes to Ish. Ish finds Eric. Eric going up with it and finishes. Sweet finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. Dude, Eric is having a great game today. He really is. 
Oh, goes back in for the hustle. Yusuf can't get his own three. There's Eric, Eric again. again. Oh, oh couldn't hit on that one. Finds Q. Q decided to go in for it. Oh, that has to be the brick of the day. Brought to you by Zane the Realtor. It was a little bit contested, but the fact that he had momentum. All the credit in the world goes to Eric this game, I think, because he just comes in, he's not talking, he's not complaining, he is just answering points with a shot of his own. I agree, he's making really good plays. Look, they double Fritz right there, they listen to you, they get the turnover they need. Uh, I believe it's the second straight turnover from Fritz. It is. In, uh, and that's it. The Makers take the lead by one with 63 to 62. Four and a half minutes left in the game. There you go. Ish, look at that. Dude, he is too strong. He, he might be strong, strong but they're calling charge. It's a blocking and foul one. because he's in the restricted area. You're right, you're right. That's the reason behind it. He might have been in a legal guarding position, but he was in the restricted area. You know, and Ish honestly only had two points last game, and I'm pretty, I don't know how, much, how many points he has this game, but he has turned it up. Where is the restricted area, you might be asking at home? We don't know, we just make it up. If it looks like it's close enough to the basket, that's it. Where would you say that restricted area is at? It's underneath the smallest hash. That's what Mike was calling on that one. Right where his foot's at? Yeah. Okay. yeah 1v1 God's lined up right around like, oh, where oh, it okay. is. Okay, 1v1 God. Okay. Yeah. Free throw. Gets three points right there. Puts the team back up two. Or puts the Panthers back up two. 1v1 God tries to finish there, but instead turns the ball over. Here comes Ish again. Dude. He is killing them in the paint. Can't stress it enough. Ish's strength is go towards the rim. You're fast, you're strong, you can handle the ball. He lets everybody off the hook when he settles for long jump shots. And it's not a shooting foul instead. They're probably just a regular foul. And shot dog might have been, uh, I don't know, uh, that might not have been shot dog. I'm not sure, but. No ball. Uh oh, they're fighting for the ball. It's a bombless thing. One v one guard with a good recovery right there. But even better defense by Eric, who causes a turnover. And now a timeout. We got subs coming in the game. <coughs> oh, it was a quick sub. Okay. Here comes Fritz, pulls it up. Misses again. Oh, and now we got a foul 94 feet away from the basket. That's tough. What do you feel about that shot from Fritz? You think he should take it or you think he passes it to your playmakers that have been making the plays so far? I mean, he's, he was making plays, but it's kind of dwindling down now. Yep. We got one. 1v1 God got poked in the eye coming off of that one. Ooh. That's something you do not like to hear. You never know. No. Because that getting poked in the eye, like, even if it ends up being nothing, man, everybody's had it even accidentally. It sucks. I'm a big fan of mixed martial arts where it only takes one. It only takes one. Gotta get a pair of goggles. Next game, 1v1 God in goggles. 1v1 goggles. People don't understand how dangerous it can be a scratch your retina, and now, you know, your vision isn't the same anymore. I've seen it happen plenty of times, because other than basketball, I like to call fights as well. Interesting. They are in the one and one currently, so that foul mm -hmm. actually gives them an opportunity to tie the game right now. With two minutes left on the clock. For who? This is the one and one. That was a good, was a good rebound by. Uh, Steve. You gotta wonder if the poke in the eye actually altered his uh, free throw a little bit. Uh, yeah, no, definitely. You know? That was a good call right there. Might have. There's Ish. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Holding on to the ball. Can't call they call timeout. They call timeout. They called out. They called timeout multiple times. I did hear it, but. I just didn't they're, know if he had possession. Like yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're fighting for position. It's kind of hard. Man, he's too far. It's a good game. 
<laughs> Steve the Kid doing a little jog at uh, Shot Dock there, trying to get in their heads a little bit. Crash talking 101. But while we have time, the Grooming Gallery. This is Orlando's premier barbershop where artistry meets grooming. Chorus is a meticulous barber whose focus is on providing top-notch cuts and grooming services tailored to your style. Their brand new location in Hunters Creek is the perfect spot for your next haircut. So shoot them a DM at the Grooming Gallery. Just under two minutes left in this game here. Got a two-point game. The Panthers ahead, and they have the ball. So the Makos need a stop and a score. They sure do. And potentially another stop. Maybe even another score. Depends how much time's left. He called time out first. They should take their... They should, they, everything's made up, and the points don't matter. Mitch has that one, right? <laughs> If you're the Panthers, you want to take it slow here. Make sure you get a nice shot. Try to extend this lead. Even though it's a small lead, but you're trying to... You would like to... Yep. And, and this is a tough inbound spot, too. They inbounded it to the corner. In, into a 2v2. Yep. It looks like that's going to be out on the Panthers. It's Mako's ball. That's great defense by the Makos. And if you are the Panthers, you have to know that if you have no timeouts, you do not inbound to the corner. It's the easiest place to get trapped in. You get it to the top of the key somehow. You put it in the hands of your best player. You try to knock it off the shin of a defender. Anywhere where a 2v2 wouldn't be as bad as it is in a corner. And there's Shot Doc. Oh. Uh, He's proving me to be a liar right now if he doesn't hit another three. That was still some time. That was a laser pass error by Steve the Kid. And that is... What is that? Reaching. By Yusuf. That's five. That's five on Yusuf. So what is it? One more in there and... They are one and one right now, but it's five fouls personal on Yusuf. Okay. okay. Understood. One more and he's out. It's an excellent point. If we have bilingual basketball players, they should be cursing in other languages so the reps don't understand. 100%. Yeah, why would you? Yeah, why would you, yeah, yeah, why would you do it in English and risk that? If you know sign language, not that kind of sign language. Everybody knows the middle finger. But like, if you know things that other people don't, like. Oh. That seems like a pretty rushed shot there. I understood trying to get it, but I don't love the idea of the ball not going through Yusuf for 1v1 God with well, under two minutes left. Exactly. You know, there's a, and there's a whole minute left on the board, so with some change, they could have definitely made a, a play happen there. There goes another foul on the Makos. You could hear Yusuf wants that ball. Yusuf wants to make that big play. That man was spitting. A lot of emotion here on the court. Ish doesn't make that shot. But. But they retain possession. That's. Dude, it's they, actually they crazy. all over him right now. They do not want him to score again. Oh, and he goes right over Shot Dog. And the foul is on Eric, believe it or not. Yeah, that that was a <laughs> that was a charge, all right. Shot Dog got right in front of him, planted his feet at the right moment. What an IQ play. Dude, because the Panthers have been going in all, like this almost this, this entire half. So why not just plant your feet? Let them run into you. That's right. Luke Finelli inserts himself into the game with 50 seconds left. <laughs> For the Here's shot of the Finelli. game. Oh, Air never mind. Balls it right into the hands of Fritz. Sorry. Now Ish is coming down court. Oh, but they get the steal. Yusuf goes up with it. Can't hit. <laughs> A deep pass to Steve. Good court vision. And with that, they extend their lead. Four point to game. Oh, here it comes. That's a little bit too rushed by Yusuf. And there now. was so much opportunity for the Makos to do something at the end of that game, and they just straight up didn't. 
They did not capitalize. They made mistakes that cost them. That cost them. A technical has been called on the bench of the Makos. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. There's trash. Some trash on there. Yeah. Steve is mouthing off with Yusuf. Oh, with Q, I mean. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's all you got. I told you this game was going to be great. It's not the 4th of July, but fireworks are flying right now. <laughs> wow. This game appears to be over, barring a miracle. The Makos are going to look back on this one and say, what could have been? And the Panthers are going to say, we got away with that one. At the end of the day, it was just better ball movement by the Panthers, better team ball. Eric decided to take over. Ish decided to take over. And whenever you have that, it's just, you know, hard to come back from. And then you start getting in your head and taking shots like that. I mean, that one went in, but for the most part. Yeah, well, now you got to force the issue no matter exactly. what. Exactly. Oh, my goodness. Maybe it's not over. Maybe it's not. 1v1 with a step back. Never mind. It's over. And that is the game. 69-65 is going to be your total here, officially, once the ball is uh, called in. And that's game. 69-65. Panthers move up 3-1. Makos down to 2-2. Two and two. Thank you guys for joining us here for game 2 of week 4 of the celebration. I'm Josh Gonzalez. This is Media. Game 99 coming up next. Oh, yeah.